how's it going? It's your boy B-Rent back at it with another episode of Behind the Edge. And today we are talking about the Spyderco Lil Native Compression Lock G10 S30V Steel with Wire Pocket Clip. One of my favorites and I'm pumped to talk about it. So let's do it. going on guys welcome to my review of the spider co little native compression lock folder i'm really pumped to get into this one so let's dive in before we dive into my thoughts, let's do a quick breakdown of the knife and then we could do some size comparisons. The Spyderco Little Native is designed by Eric Glesser. It has a handle length of 3.47 inches, a handle width of 1.125 inches, and it has a handle thickness of 0.44 inches. It has a blade length of 2.47 inches, a blade width of 1.125 inches, and a blade thickness of 0.13 inches. The Little Native's overall length is 5.94 inches and it weighs in at 2.4 ounces. It sports a drop point CPM S30V steel blade with a high flat grind, Spyderco quality G10 handle scales, a low profile reversible tip up only wire pocket clip, and of course, a Spyderco compression lock. Let's dive on in and take a closer look. Starting on the show side of the knife, here you can see the textured G10 handle scales. Any wear and tear is for me carrying it around for the last couple months. Moving on to the spine where you can see the top down view of the compression lock. No backspacer present establishes a simple elegant design. The backside greets us with my favorite pocket clip in the game, the Spyderco wire clip. Here you can also see the Spyderco compression lock. Let's check out the blade centering. Spyderco's USA made products are known for their impeccable quality control. And just as I thought, this knife is centered perfectly right down the middle. Let's check out the action. There's a couple different ways of opening this knife, but it's big enough to spidey flick, so that's my method of choice. The knife rockets out and locks firm. One-handed opening and closing is a breeze with this knife. I love the design here. Check out that finger choil. The ergonomics are great. Spyderco, in my humble opinion, has perfected the rounding of their G10 handles so that they are comfortable, yet they still aesthetically look like sharp, confident edges. There can be a little bit of a hot spot on the pocket clip, but for my hand, this knife fits perfectly. I love the leaf shape of the drop point blade. The super high flat grind helps with slicing, and there's literally no blade play. Now it's time for some size comparisons. Here it is next to the Columbia River Knife and Tool Polar, designed by Jasper Voxnes. Similar in size, but much heavier than the Little Native. I put a fly tanium brass scale on it, so it's built up a sweet patina over time. Next up, the small cut jack in D2 steel from Steel Wheel Knives. The cut jack is a pretty small carry, but it's still a bit bigger than the little native. Okay, next up is the Rake P801 in 14C28N steel, and this absolutely dwarfs the little native. Next up is the SE Zancudo, another small but great EDC option, but it is much larger than the Little Native. Okay, here's my baby blue small Benchmade Griptilian in 154cm steel, designed by Mel Pardu. Still, the Little Native is smaller in size. I bet you're seeing a theme here that the Little Native is pretty small. Next up is a knife that I definitely need to clean, the SOG Terminus XR and BDZ1 Steel. Again, a good amount larger than the Little Native. So, out of all the ones I've showed so far, it seems that the CRKT Polar is the closest in size, and it's probably the most popular one as well. And finally, you see it here next to the Paramilitary 2 from Spyderco. I often carry these knives together as a primary and secondary blade. They actually share a ton of similarities. Same handle material and blade steel. Eric Glesser was involved in the design of both of these, and they both have a compression lock. The big difference here is obviously size. 
The PM2 is one of my go-to EDC choices, but when I want to carry a knife that takes up less pocket space or is less noticeable, the Little Native is a perfect option. Alright, now let's hop into pros, cons, and conclusions. Starting off with the pros, the first pro is the locking mechanism. You can get this knife with two different locking mechanisms. I believe there's a lockback and a compression lock version of this knife, correct me if I'm wrong. I went with the compression lock for my personal use. I think the compression lock implementation on the Little Native is a home run. The ease of deployment and all around one hand use of this folder is a joy thanks to the position of the compression lock, so I'm a big fan of that. The second pro is that it's made in the United States. Biterco's headquarters are in Colorado. I can always get behind something that's made in my home country, back to back World War Champs. The third pro is its design. It's designed by Eric Glesser, who needs no introduction. He's the heir to the Spyderco throne, so to speak. The design language of this knife is simple yet extremely effective. The single elegant curve at the top of the knife created by the seamless integration of the tang into the handle scale is beautiful, strong, and confident. The blade to handle ratio is perfect, making me feel balanced and all around aesthetically pleasing. This knife lives by a code, less is more, and I absolutely love it. Pro number four is its size, especially in places with majorly restrictive knife carry laws. This knife lives up to its name little. With a blade coming in at 2.5 inches, it's legal in a majority of places that I frequent. Always check the knife laws where you are from or where you're going to be carrying. I like to compare this knife to the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Don't be fooled by its small size, it can still pack a punch. Steel Choice is a major pro. Made by a US-based Crucible, S30V is widely considered a premium steel, with great edge retention and good corrosion resistance. Knife Informer says that dollar for dollar, this is generally regarded as one of the finest knife blade steels with the optimal balance of edge retention, hardness, and toughness. The final pro is quality, and this one's pretty simple. In my opinion, Spyderco's brand is synonymous with quality, especially their USA-made lineup. No brand is perfect, but so far in my Spyderco collecting, I've never had a quality issue. I've also heard really good things about their customer service. Okay, moving on to the cons, I really have two, but one's just a nitpick. The second one is an actual con. So first, the thickness behind the edge. Although the high flat grind helps in the slicing department, the thickness behind the edge could be better. Its blade stock is a little chunky, but again, this is a nitpick. The second con is price, and this one is a bigger deal than the first. I think that this is an amazing all-around, smaller EDC knife, and it checks a ton of boxes, but I definitely think one major con is price. The knife market in 2020 is amazing for collectors and enthusiasts because of what you can get for a knife at a low price. The Little Native clocks in at $140 currently, and that's a lot of money for a small knife with G10 handles. This leads me to my conclusion. I think overall that this is a quality knife that I enjoy carrying in my EDC rotation. That being said, I do believe that if smaller size is not a key factor in your search for a knife, then there are definitely better options out there for the money. Spyderco offers some models that are a little bit larger, for cheaper, that are way more popular, like the Para 3 or the Chaparral, and I would recommend those over this knife any day. I really think this is a niche knife for someone that is looking for an option that is under 3 inches for legal reasons. If there are size restrictions in area that you live or frequent, only then do I think this is an amazing choice and I would recommend it. Alright guys, thank you so much. You made it to the end of the video and the end of episode 2. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out more content soon and it's going to be like knife, EDC related, maybe some tech thrown in there. So, hope to see you there. Backpack B out. Oh, yeah.